The SpecViz Plus is an awesome machine, and it produces really beautiful results when it's done, used correctly. However, it is actually a real machine. It's not a simulation. There's a real light bulb shining real light through a real sample. And if something is wrong, it will give you real mistakes and real problems. So I'm going to talk just a little bit about um, the causes of some possible problems that you might have in this experiment. So what I've done so far is to go ahead and let the spectrophotometer uh, warm up. Now I have a sample here that has some of the brown Bradford reagent in it. And that's my blank. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Finish Calibration. So what is a computer actually doing when it's finishing the calibration? What it's doing is scanning and finding out how much light is absorbed at every wavelength across the spectrum. And then it stores that information into its memory. So the next step after this then is to take the um, sample. So here's some sample that has reacted Bradford reagent in it. You tell it to collect data. Now what it's doing is scanning and measuring what the absorbance is at every wavelength with the blue stuff in it. So I'm going to tell it to stop, store latest run. When I click on the little um, uh, rainbow spectrum button up here, I can see what the result is when the spectrophotometer subtracts the calibration absorbance at every wavelength from the absorbance at every wavelength that um, happens when the blue uh, reacted Bradford reagent is in the tube. So you can see that at this wavelength that value is positive. Now I'm going to conduct a little experiment by doing something wrong. So once again, I have the spectrophotometer set up. I have put the Bradford reagent in to calibrate the um, solution. I'm going to click OK. But now, instead of taking the Bradford reagent out and putting in the reacted Bradford reagent, I'm just going to leave the same blank in there. I'm going to tell it to collect data, tell it to stop, store latest run, show me the calibration curve. Now if you look at this curve, it's kind of hard to understand what's going on, but what you should notice is the scale. The maximum values in the scale is 0 0.02. This is essentially zero. Basically, I'm getting nothing all the way across in the graph. That totally makes sense because my uh, sample reading is being subtracted from the calibration reading and because they're the same the subtraction is more or less zero at every wavelength. So basically when I measure the same sample that I'm using for the calibration I get nothing. All right, I'm going to conduct another bad experiment. Once again, I'm going to put my Bradford reagent blank in there. I'm going to tell it to finish the calibration. Click OK. But this time, instead of using a sample of any sort, I'm going to put an empty cuvette in there that has nothing in it at all but air. Let's see what happens this time. I'm going to tell it to collect. It's collected data. I will tell it to stop. Store latest run. Let's see what we have. Interestingly enough, almost every value is negative and it's not in the hundredths place like the last experiment I did. Everything is significantly negative. Why is that the case? Because basically I am taking 
no absorbance and subtracting away the absorbance of the blank or of the Bradford reagent and so every value is going to be negative. So I've set up the spectrophotometer, calibrated it, it's all ready to go, I'm ready to collect data. Let's collect some data. So here's my sample, Kumasi, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Bradford reagent with milk. Let's tell it to collect data. All right, it's collected data. I'm going to tell it to keep and Where's my point? What? My point is at negative 0.5. How could I have negative 0.5? I mean, I put in blue stuff, right? Can't be negative. Well, look at the tube tube is only halfway full which means that some of the light was passing through air instead of through blue that means that the amount of absorbance is lower than it should be when the blank is subtracted from it the answer is negative <laughs>